there's absolutely no way with the way this defensive unit is constructed that the Maple Leafs are going to be hoisting the cup 16 wins into a playoffs. Not a chance. Can they do it with the offense? Absolutely. But they need backup. They need support defensively, whether it's um, another veteran guy, maybe a few years younger than old man Ron Hainsey, who should be planning his Viking River cruise. Where do you think he's going to go, by the way, Mike? I think he's going to uh, Norway. Well, the, and it, ironically, you bring up Hainsey. Hainsey, we didn't get a lot of straight answers from Mike Babcock. I don't know if he was even asked after the game, but Hainsey didn't play the last, I think, 12 minutes of the third period. And they were going with five defensemen. So there was something that was going on. And I watched the, I rewatched the video just to see like if he had blocked a shot or if he went into the corner. There was nothing noticeable other than he seemed to be, you know, struggling in terms of his skating. What but that's been the what's been going on for most of the year. So I don't know if there was anything specific, but he didn't play the last twelve minutes and they were holding on to a lead. Normally he would see a lot of minutes. And, you know, with Travis Dermott out with the I think it was the flu, you know, they had they had to play Martin Marinson a lot more than I think everybody would be comfortable with. So I we'll have to see, you know, what that what that pretends in terms of their uh, you know, reshuffling their pairings if you know, if Hainsey is not available for the next game against Winnipeg, you know, will they put Dermott, if he's healthy, back up with the top pairing with Riley? Or do they shift all things around? Or do they put Dermott back with uh, with Ozaganoff and, you know, play uh, play Marinson up in the top pairing, which it would be rather frightening. Mike, I don't care how many mistakes Ron Hainsey makes. I do, but I don't because – this guy's put in a situation he shouldn't necessarily be in on a team that should be in a position to win a Stanley Cup here. This guy should be a complimentary defenseman, somebody who's there for support, somebody who's there to bring wisdom, experience um, to, to big moments. He is doing that and much more. So when we get on Ron Hainsey, it's not because we think he's terrible. He should be in Toronto to serve a bit of a different role, not the role he's in right now. Whether he is overworked or underworked, I mean, more likely overworked. And, you know, when you're overworked and you're put in situations where you become vulnerable and you're stretching yourself too thin, that's when you're exposed. And it's not necessarily because it's you. Um, it's just because of the situation you're playing with him. So the Leafs need him. <laughs> they need this guy to help get this defensive unit and this team to a point where Kyle Dubas can construct a deal that brings in support, that brings in some extra troops to help these guys in the back end. Yeah, he should be a 5-6, and they ha should have somebody uh, playing his spot in the top four, but they don't, so he's doing the best that he can. I mean, I just uh, all I'm saying is that I, I think before the end of the year, you're going to see Travis Dermott move up into the top four because I think he's played well in spite of the fact that his last game he was minus three. I think, you know, he's – He's showing some growth. Um, they just, they're going to need, I, I believe they're going to need at least one and maybe two defensemen before the deadline. Um, you know, if the Leafs have the success that they, you know, everybody thinks that they're going to have, you know, if you can get a defenseman in a trade that gives you more than a year on the contract, uh, somebody who signed up for at least another year or maybe another two years, it might be worth giving up your first round pick because your organization is fairly loaded in terms of prospects. So that might be um, a direction that they go, but I, I'm just saying it's like their defense is currently constructed now with Hainsey. If he is out anything, even more than a game or two, um, you know, th that's an area that we've thought has been thin and we'll see how thin it is because you'll see players who, you know, maybe like Justin Hall or, they had to call up a Cali Rosen or a, or an Andreas Borgman or play Ozaganov more than they have been in the past. And I have to say Ozaganov played pretty well last night. We're going to see the depth of the organization on defense if we have an injury with Hainsey in terms of him being out for a little while. Now, we don't know if that's, that's the case, but, you know, you thought – the thought has been that they have quality depth in Rosen – in Borgman, in Justin Hall, um, we'll see if if Hainsey is out for a prolonged period, and it may not be the case. Um, they may have to call somebody up from the Marlies. They may have to play Justin Hall, who they haven't played yet. They may have to give Travis Dermott more of a role. They may have to play Martin Marinson, and then mm -hmm. all those eventualities 
Um, some of them may be fraught with peril. Some of them may be uh, a situation where they may benefit. If you know, but it's an uncertain territory, is what I'm saying. You don't want to be missing your elder statesman for a a run towards what you believe is potentially a Stanley Cup. You you need the guy. I mean, there, if you're going to move anybody out uh, to make way for an, another experienced sage. Um, effective defenseman to come in. You're not going to move out Ron Hainsey and keep Martin Marincin. You need that Ron Hainsey. You need Ron Hainsey. You need him. You need him all the way to the end, whether you know, he's crawling to the end or he, he's, uh, he's taking his testosterone pills and he's, he's flying to the end. You need him because he's done it. And he, he's a quality guy. He's, just, he's, he's playing minutes that he shouldn't have to. And that's an indication that you better get somebody else in to off spell those minutes to help Ron Hainsey along. And for as great as this team's going to be, I mean, they're on pace for 115 points. Whether they get that, I don't know. They better because I predicted they would. 